How to Handle a Newborn Baby Caring for a newborn is daunting, especially for first-time parents. You may feel like you have no idea what you are doing. They look so fragile, but they are resilient. With gentle care and love, you can take care of a newborn. Method 1 Carrying and Holding a Newborn 1. Wash Your Hands Always wash your hands or use hand sanitizer before you handle a newborn. A newborn's immune system is not strong yet, and you do not want to pass on any germs or infections. If you have visitors or guests, make sure they wash their hands before handling the newborn. Keep hand sanitizer in rooms where you typically hold the baby. This way it is convenient for you and any guests to clean their hands. 2. Pick up a newborn. Slide one hand under the baby's head and place your other hand under the bottom. Scoop and bring the baby close to your body. It is important that you always support the head and neck because newborns do not have strong neck muscles. If you are picking up the baby from a crib, stroller, or bed, bend at your knees and not your waist. You want to protect your back. If you are lifting the newborn from the ground, get down on one knee and bring the infant close to your body before you stand up. Avoid twisting your back when you pick up the baby as well. Pivot with your feet instead. 3. Cradle the newborn Cradling is an intimate way to hold a newborn that allows you to interact with the baby. Rest the baby's head on your chest and slide your hand from the bottom to support the neck. Move the baby's head to the crook of your arm to support the neck. Once the baby is securely in the crook of your arm, place your other hand under the baby's bottom. Don't forget to continually support the baby's head and neck as you position the baby. It may be better to sit and hold the baby instead of standing up until you are more comfortable. 4. Hold the newborn on your shoulder. Rest the newborn on your shoulder and use your hand to support the head and neck. Place your other hand on the baby's bottom. Try to allow the baby to see over your shoulder. The baby will enjoy the view. Be sure you have a good hold if you are walking up or down the stairs with the newborn on your shoulder. 5. Use a baby sling or carrier. Baby slings and carriers are safe for newborns and allow you to use your hands while toting the baby. Always read the instructions and check the weight minimum before you use it. Your baby's face should never be covered by the sling or your body. If you can see your baby's face, you should be fine. Always bend at the knees when carrying your baby in one of these. Make sure the carrier fits firmly around your waist and shoulders. 6. Be gentle. A newborn is not ready for any type of rough play. Do not shake, bounce on your knee, or throw the baby in the air. If your newborn is in a carrier, sling, stroller, or car seat, try to limit excessive bouncing or anything rough. Shaking can cause brain bleeding and even death. You can always tickle the bottom of the newborn's feet or blow on her cheek. Method 2 Bonding with and Soothing a Newborn 1. Talk to your newborn. Infants enjoy sound. Talk to, read, and sing to your newborn. You can also use baby rattles and musical mobiles with a newborn. If the newborn seems a little fussy, you may sing, read a nursery rhyme, or talk while you hold and rock the baby. If the newborn turns away, cries, or seems startled by talking or singing, your baby may be sensitive to noise. Lower the volume or use a softer tone to see if this helps. 2. Swaddle your newborn. Swaddling keeps a baby warm and makes the baby feel safe and secure. Spread out a large blanket and fold one corner. Place the baby face up with the head at the edge of the folded corner. Bring one side of the blanket across the body and tuck it underneath the baby. 
fold the bottom portion of the blanket to cover the baby's feet. Hold the baby in place and bring the other side of the blanket across the baby and tuck it. Only the head and neck should be visible once you are finished. Swaddling is only recommended for babies under two months old. Do not fold the blanket too tight. Babies should have room to move their feet, hips, and knees. Folding the baby too tight can cause breathing problems and hip development issues. If you are swaddling to help your baby fall asleep, only place your baby on his back. 3. Learn the baby's cries. This will be hard at first, but a newborn is crying to communicate a need. As time goes on, you will know the difference between each cry. Common reasons a newborn will cry include sleepy or tired, hungry, gas, too much noise or activity, sick or in pain, needs a diaper change. 4. Try the 5SS. If your newborn is crying and you cannot figure out why, go through the 5SS to comfort your baby. These activities mimic the womb environment and will help calm the baby. Swaddle. Side or stomach position, hold the baby on the side or stomach. Remember to always put your baby on or her back when it is time for bed. Shush, drown out some other noises by running the vacuum cleaner, hair dryer, fan, or clothes dryer. Swing, rock the baby, or take your baby for a car or stroller ride. Suck, have the baby suck on a pacifier. 5. Take a break. If your baby is crying and you begin to feel frustrated, take a time out and then try to soothe the baby again. Your baby can pick up on your emotions and will respond. If you are upset, your baby may be upset as well. Place the baby down in the crib or bassinet and walk around the house for a few minutes. If you can, leave the baby with someone else so you can get a break. You can also count to 10 and take a few deep breaths. Tell yourself, everything will be alright, or I can do this. 6. Recognize Colic If your baby cries for more than 3 hours a day for more than 3 days a week, the baby may have colic. All your attempts to soothe the baby will seem unsuccessful. Colic usually ends when the baby is around 12 to 14 weeks old. Colic usually stops on its own, but take your baby to the pediatrician if you are concerned. Be as patient as possible and continue to soothe your newborn. Try to get help from a partner, family, or friends during this time. Method 3 Feeding a Newborn 1. Recognize Signs of Hunger if your baby is stirring, stretching, or making sucking motions, your baby is showing early signs of hunger. Crying and fussing are later signs that the newborn is hungry. Try to start feeding as soon as you recognize that the baby is hungry. This will keep you from having to spend so much time soothing the baby. The baby will let you know when it's time to eat. Listen to your baby and feed when he or she wants to eat. If your baby sleeps for more than three or four hours, wake them to eat during the first few weeks. After this, it is okay to let your baby sleep longer. If your baby stops sucking, turns away from the food, or closes his or her mouth, the baby may be full. Burp the baby and wait a few minutes to be sure. 2. Feed the newborn frequently. Newborns eat 8 to 12 times a day. This is about one feeding every two or three hours. Only feed the newborn breast milk or formula. If you are using formula, your baby may only eat every three to four hours. A newborn does not need water or juice. The amount of food your newborn needs varies with each baby, however, most newborn babies take about one to three ounces per feeding. Trust your gut and look for signs that your infant is eating enough such as Weight gain. Appearing satisfied in between feedings. At least six wet diapers and three bowel movements each day, after the first five days. 
Feeding is also another time for you to bond with your baby. Don't forget to talk to, make eye contact with, and rub your baby during this time. 3. Burp the baby. After a few ounces, or while switching breasts, hold the baby over your shoulder and gently pat or rub the back until you hear the baby burp. You can also place the baby in your lap, use your hand to support the chest, support the cheekbones with your thumb and finger. Lean the baby slightly forward and wait for the baby to burp. Your baby may not burp every time, but burping keeps your baby from eating too fast and helps reduce gas. Burp her after feeding as well. Method 4 Sleeping Safely 1. No Normal Sleeping Habits Newborns typically sleep 16 to 18 hours a day. They usually wake up every 2 to 3 hours to eat. The length of time your baby sleeps each time will vary. Some babies will start to sleep 5 to 6 hours a night around 2 months of age. Learn what is normal for your baby. Newborns do not know the difference between night and day, so be prepared to run on very little sleep. 2. Place a newborn's on his back. A newborn baby should only sleep on his back. Do not place him on his side or stomach to sleep. Stomach sleeping can lead to sudden infant death syndrome, SIDS. Stomach sleeping can block the baby's airway and cause the baby to get too hot. 3. Keep the crib or bassinet clear. The bottom sheet should fit tightly. Keep items such as pillows, blankets, and toys out of the crib or bassinet. Anything loose in the crib is a hazard and could suffocate your baby. Also, be sure that there are no items that can get caught around the baby's neck, such as ribbons, cords, or ties. Any crib you use should meet current safety standards. Consider putting your baby in a sleep sack since a loose blanket is dangerous. 4. Establish a bedtime routine Although your newborn may be too young to understand a bedtime routine, starting one now may be helpful in the future. Routines may include bathing, reading, and singing. Keep the lights low and create a calm environment. You can rock and cuddle with your baby to encourage sleep. The room should be at a comfortable temperature. Tips If your gut is telling you that something is wrong, call the doctor or go to the emergency room. Warnings Call your doctor right away or go to the emergency room if you baby under 2 months old has a fever. 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius rectally.